Hello guys, it's James here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get a cool custom cape on Minecraft for absolutely free. Now there's some very important things we need to go over before we start. Uh, this will only work with forge or fabric, that means you can't use uh, Bad Lion, Luna or any other clients like that. You can only use something which supports forge or fabric. Also, only players using the mod will see the cape. It's impossible to get a cape everyone can see unless you go to Minecon or under extremely special circumstances. So only players using the Minecraft capes mod will see your cape. Also, you have to be a premium Minecraft user. That means you must have bought Minecraft for this to work. It won't work for cracked accounts. It won't work on crack servers or T-launch or anything like that. You must have paid for Minecraft for this to work. So uh, after all of that, I think it's ready. We get into the tutorial. Make sure you leave a like and also subscribe if this helps. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Forge download page in the description. It will be the second link in the description. Once you're at the download page, you want to choose what version of uh, the game you want to run. So I'm going to use 1.17.1 in this example. And then uh, you're going to go over here and you're going to click the installer button. Okay, that installer button is going to take you to a page with an advert on. Now you don't want to click anything down here, but instead you want to go up here where it's counting down and click the big red skip button. When you click the skip button, it will try and download it and depending on what web browser you're on, if it's Edge or Chrome, it's going to probably block the download. That's because a jar file uh, is recognised as an executable, so the browser blocks it as a warning uh, in case it hurts the device. Now we know Forge is safe, so we can just go ahead and unblock this. Usually you can click Keep on Chrome, or on Edge you can click the three dots and click Keep. Now that Forge is downloaded, we're going to go to our downloads folder and we can see here we have the Forge 1.17.1 installer file. If you've downloaded a different version, you'll have a different number at the front here. We're then going to want to double click the Forge installer and what it should do is it should open up this Forge installation box. If for some reason you don't see this, then you'll need to download and install Java. That link will be in the description. If you see this, uh, just leave everything as it is, like normal, and just click OK. Now that's going to download and install Forge into your Minecraft launcher. Make sure that you have the Minecraft launcher closed when you do the installation, otherwise it won't work properly. Once Forge has finished installing, you'll get a pop-up like this below saying successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.17.1 or whichever version you downloaded. What we can do is click OK on this and then we can double check if Forge has been installed by opening up the Minecraft launcher. Clicking on the Minecraft launcher, you'll see a new profile in this drop down list called Forge and it should have the version 1.17.1 Forge, whichever one you've downloaded it. If you don't see this, close the Minecraft launcher and start try and install Forge again. Otherwise, you can create a manual installation here and look for the version number. If you see Forge here, you're all good to go. The next thing we want to do is download the Minecraft Capes mod. The mod is required for you to see the cape and uh, only players using the mod will be able to see your cape. So we're going to go to the Minecraft Capes website which will be the first link in the description and then we're going to click the download button at the top here. Once we're on the download page, we've installed Minecraft Forge, we want to download Minecraft Capes Forge. And then we need to choose which version of Forge we've installed. Uh, so we've installed Forge 17.1, so we'll click that one. And then we can just click download. That's going to redirect us to Curse Forge, which is going to begin the download for us automatically. So we won't touch anything on the screen. And what we'll see in a second is a pop-up saying it's been blocked again, just like Forge was. So we want to then click the three dots again and click Keep if you're on Edge or just the Keep button if you're on Chrome. Now that we've downloaded the Minecraft Capes Forge mod, it won't actually do anything until we've put it into the mods folder. To open up the mods folder, you want to first hold down the Windows key on the keyboard and press R. That will open up a run box. In that run box, you want to type percent app data percent, then click OK. 
that'll open up a new window here. What you're going to need to do next is go into the .minecraft folder and then you're going to want to create a brand new folder here and you're going to want to call it mods, M-O-D-S, like that. If you already have a folder called mods, then you can put the Minecraft Capes mod in that folder. Um, you'll need to make sure that any mods in there are the right version, otherwise you'll have crashes. The best bet, I think, is to uh, rename your old mods folder, mods1, and just create a new one. If you don't have a mods folder, just create a whole new folder like I have now, which is completely empty. Next, you'll want to go into the mods folder. As you can see currently, it's completely empty. Then, you're going to go to your downloads folder and drag the mod into the mods folder like that. So what you should see at the top here is .minecraft and then mods spelt like that and it should only have the Minecraft Capes Forge 1.17.1 in the mods folder. You've got to make sure that you've got the right version which is Forge and the right ver game version 1.17.1 otherwise it will cause crashes. Once we've done that, we can close those two windows and open up the Minecraft launcher. Next, if we click play, it's going to ask us if we're sure we want to play a version of the game that's been modified. We're going to click I understand the risks and click play. This pop-up is just to warn us that we're using mods and that if it crashes, it's not Minecraft's fault. So we can ignore that and just click play. Now that Minecraft's launched, we can see we're running Forge because in the bottom left hand corner it says Forge. And then if you click the Mods button, we can see Minecraft Capes mod in the Mods list. If you don't see that there, go back and re-watch that last part of the video to make sure that you've definitely followed all the instructions correctly. Now that we've got the mod installed and Forge up and running, the next thing to do is register on the Minecraft Capes website so that we can upload a cape for everyone using the mod to see. The first thing we want to do is go back to our Minecraft Capes website and then click the register button in the top right hand corner. Once you click the register button, it's going to ask you to join the auth.minecraftcapes.net server and it will give you an authorization code so that we can register on the website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this IP address, auth.minecraftcapes.net. I'm then going to go to Minecraft, click multiplayer, click direct connect and paste auth.minecraftcapes.net in the server address. Next, if I click join server, it's going to give me an authorization code, in this case 111379, so I can type that in. Now your authorization code will be different to mine, so you'll need to join on any version yourself. If I click confirm identity, it's next going to ask me to choose a password for the website. Now it's very important that I stress this, we recommend you choose a different password than your Minecraft account. That keeps things all secure and completely separate. So I'm going to choose a different password to my Minecraft account now. And then I'm going to agree to the acceptable textures policy and click register. Now that I'm registered and logged in, you can see here's my character here. I currently don't have a cape or anything interesting on my back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gallery and I'm going to go to the uh, Minecon Capes gallery and I'm going to choose a cape I want to upload. In this case, it's going to be the Minecon 2011 cape. So I'm just going to click download on that. That's going to download a tiny little picture. We don't need to do anything for, with that for now. Um, but I'm just going to go back to the upload cape page. I'm going to click select a file and I'm going to go to my downloads folder and choose the 2011 file I've just downloaded. Click open and then click the upload button. That's going to upload the cape. There you go. We've got a tick there. And now I can see the cape on my character's back and I can even see what the elytra looks like. Now that I've uploaded a cape, I'm going to go back to Minecraft and I'm just going to join a single player world that I've just created called Cape World. If I go into there, 
Now, if we hit F5, I can see the Minecon 2011 cape I uploaded on my back. If for some reason you don't see your cape yet, uh, you can hit J on the keyboard and it will bring you up this GUI. You can click the uh, Reload Profile button and then hopefully your cape should appear. If the J button doesn't do anything, then it sounds like you haven't installed the mod correctly and you should probably re-watch parts of the video. So thank you guys for watching, I hope this has helped you get a free Minecon or special cape or anything like that. If you're still having any issues, you can join the Discord which is in the description below. And you can also get a, a premium uh, animated or enchanted cape like the one I've got on here by visiting the description or clicking the premium features button on the website. If this has helped, make sure to give a like and a subscribe, it really helps me out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you later and goodbye.